What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final, final little pass is a business. A dead meat. Hey everybody, James A. Janice here back at the Texas Frightmare Weekend Convention in Dallas, Texas at the Hyatt Regency Hotel at the Dallas Airport. Last year was my first year here and I've come back because honestly, I think I can safely say that this is my favorite convention to go to. It's just a wonderland for horror fans. You've got everything from the merchandise to buy, the shirts to buy, all the awesome cosplay going on, people dressed up in awesome costumes. The Super Freddy rules! Speaking of awesome cosplays, look at this, it's Jordy from Creepshow. I'm trying to sell this meteor. Oh does it turn me into that? You might. Well, no thank you then. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mr. Stephen King. Appreciate your time. Check out this awesome Ash cosplay. My name's Liam and I'm from uh, the north of England. Hell yeah, you came all the way over here just all for this? All the way, 10 hours and I felt every minute of the flight, but it was so worth it. Worth it? So, so worth it. That's what I'm saying, man. I love getting more cool stuff for the set. I got this cool head crab figure from the thing. And finally, I found a Belial figure from Basket Case, the guy on my Twitch live streams. I found a figure of him. I'm so happy. And of course, one of my favorite things about all these horror conventions is talking to the celebrities and actors who are in all the horror movies I cover. Hey everybody, look who I found. It's Ed Gwynn, AKA the semi-truck driver from the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ed, hey, where'd you run off to, man? Well, it looks like I ran into the, the follow-up movie to get something chili to eat. But it, in fact, I ran for my life. I thought I was gonna go find help somewhere. The help I found turned out to be the sheriff that was working for the family. Oh man. So I had a choice, get in the pot or join the club. I joined the club. You joined the club? Did you eat people, Ed? I'm afraid I did. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you were in the second chainsaw yep. movie just eating the chili. I was actually a judge for the chili cook. -off. Oh, you were a judge. Yeah. Did you vote ringer. for Drayton? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a ringer. It was a ringer judge. Thank you so much, Ed. My pleasure. Really appreciate it, man. Good hey. meeting you. Hey, I'm here with uh, Nancy Thompson herself, Heather Langenkamp. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Heather, I love all your work in the Nightmare movies, but I also love all the effects work you do with your husband. What's your favorite special effect that you've ever worked on? I think it's gotta be Cabin in the Woods, and it's gotta be the merman with the bloody blowhole. Yes. Love that. Bradley Whitford gets it from the merman. It's so memorable. Thank you so much, Heather. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm here with Bruce Abbott, who played Dr. Dan Kane in one of my favorite horror movies, Reanimator. Bruce, in the movie, you are Dr. Herbert West's roommate, which has yes. gotta be very difficult. He's my my roommate. Let's just start with that. Okay, okay we'll yeah. start with that. Yeah. If you could have any horror movie character be your roommate, who would you want to room with? Linda Blair, probably, because it would be over right away, right? Oh, yeah. I would be possessed, it would be over. I wouldn't have to worry about the whole night. Wouldn't have to worry about tomorrow. Wouldn't have to worry about any of that. Nice, yeah. So Reagan from The Exorcist? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's one way of looking at it. You don't yeah. have to pay rent if you're possessed. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm here with Jeffrey Combs, who has had a illustrious career doing so much. But my favorite role of you, don't roll your eyes, you know it's true. But my favorite role of yours has to be Dr. Herbert West from the Reanimator series. West. Herbert West. What do you think that reagent tastes like? Because it looks kind of tasty to me. It's poisonous. It's poisonous? Yes. Yeah, but so is antifreeze. And that tastes good. You know what it is? Yeah. It is a derivative of a phosphorescent algae in the ocean. And they also use it in crime scenes to find blood. It's called luminol. Oh yeah, is this true, behind the scenes stuff? It's that stuff, and so when you use it, it's two things, and you mix them and they glow. It's also the same stuff that are in kids' glow sticks. Glow sticks, okay. Which really blows my mind, because if those break open, it's poisonous. When we All were right. shooting, they kept saying, dude, whatever, if this gets on your hands, Wash them right away. That got all over the place in the second movie. Oh, all of yeah. And, <laughs> I, and I stayed away from it whenever possible. It's uh, nasty stuff. Do not drink it. Don't it eat glow sticks. Not Kool-Aid. It looks kind of tasty, but don't do it. Thank you, Jen. My pleasure. Hey, I'm here with Barbara Crampton, who is a legend of the genre. You're in Chopping Mall, You're Next, Reanimator, so many of my favorite movies. Thank you. If you had to choose between going on a shopping spree with the Killbots or being Herbert West's research assistant, what would you rather do? Oh, Herbert West all the way, baby. Oh, all the way. Yeah, he's so much fun. At this point, I've learned so much yeah. working with him and in so many horror movies. I think I could get the better of him this time, and I'd like the chance. Ooh, yeah, I'd like to see that showdown. Someone needs to show him what's on. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you so much, Barbara. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'm here with Felissa Rose, who played Angela in one of my favorite horror movies, Sleepaway Camp. Oh. Felissa, it's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Angela didn't have the best time at camp, but if she had, what do you think her favorite camping activity would have been? She would have loved, let's see, that's a great question. <laughs> I think she would love to have gone swimming, but she was so intimidated oh, because yeah. of her figure that perhaps swimming would have been amazing. Lake. Yes, I'd gone in that lake and not worried about any of those bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah. So thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm here with Kathleen Kinmont, who is not only in Halloween 4 wearing the awesome Cops Do It by the Book shirt, but you're also the titular bride of Reanimator. My question is, if you could be the bride of any horror villain, who would it be? Oh god, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger? Yes. Bride of Freddy Krueger? Yes, he would know how to do hair. <laughs> yeah. Right? He would get like free haircuts. That's true, yeah. <laughs> it's Robert Englund and he's sexy. Yeah. Have you talked yeah. to him? Oh yeah, no, Chelsea No, I've never met him. So. Oh, you know what? I can, I can hook you up. I can bring you over there. Hook a sister up. <laughs> this is not a real wedding ring. It's just oh. to keep the dorks away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know who else I also love though? He's, I don't know if he's really a horror villain, but Malcolm McDowell. Oh yeah. And I love him and I know him and yeah? he's great. I mean, I would love to be like his bride to his character in Clockwork Orange. Uh, Alex Dillard. Right? Yeah. yeah right. Run around in fast motion with him to uh, that oh, classical music. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Yes. With all those dicks all over the <laughs> Yeah, place. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Kathleen. Pleasure. I'm here with Robert Brian Wilson, who played Billy in Silent Night, Deadly Night, your favorite Christmas slasher. Have you been good? What's your favorite Christmas gift you ever got growing up? Mmm, that would have to be, um... An ass. No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Punish! Uh, it was a bicycle. When I was about 10 years old, my whole family, and I'm the youngest of four, all four of us got bicycles. But what they did was um, I was a little late waking up. I don't know why. My older brothers, they got up early, you know, way before everybody else. And they were all uh, displaying their bicycles out in front of the Christmas tree. And they took mine and hid it in the garage. The Christmas morning started rather sad. And um, shortly after they saw that I was quite upset, they walked me to the garage and showed me my brand new bicycle. So that's definitely one that stands out, probably my favorite ever. What a naughty prank to play on Christmas. Probably right there and then it would have probably been very appropriate to say naughty. <laughs> and y'all should be punished. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Hey, I'm here with Eric Freeman, who was in Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 as Ricky Chapman. Eric, you're famous for yelling Garbage Day, of course. Garbage Day? Huh? No! But my question is, what's your least favorite household chore? Thursday, taking out the garbage. It is taking out the garbage! <laughs> yeah. I don't forget that. <laughs> Every time you take it out, do you think of that? It's garbage day, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's rough, because, uh, you know, it's not as fun as it used to be. You can't just go around shooting people. No. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Eric. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Toy Newkirk, who was in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, and you were killed by Freddy when, well, you got to make out with it. Want to suck the face? No. <laughs> yeah, my on-screen kiss. Yeah. First, last. <laughs> first and last. Yeah. Many jealous women out there, including Chelsea. No, really? You want it? You can, I mean, you can't have it. <laughs> but he killed you by taking your breath away. Mm. And my question for you is, what life experience have you had that has taken your breath away? Oh, I just told you guys. You did, yeah. That actually, you answered it before we even knew. So my boyfriend and I, we have known each other since we were five years old. Oh. And uh, we were in kindergarten together. We went through elementary school, high school, and then we lost each other. We're just friends. Mm -hmm. Found each other about six years ago, and we were friends for about a good three years. And then he took me to Jamaica. And uh, I thought we were going for business because we worked together as well. And um, it's when he told me, um, I'm in love with you and let's do this. So that took my breath away. Yeah, the business of the love. The business of love, not Freddie's tongue and dentures. Do you ever think of him yeah. when you're kissing anyone else? Oh, yeah. Well, the funny thing is my boyfriend's name is Robert. Oh, no. So we were all in Amsterdam about six months ago, all hanging out. And so Robert and Robert were hanging out. And I was like, Robert. And they both turned to me. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, I'm your boyfriend <laughs> yeah. now. I'm your man. Robert was like, no, I am. And I'm like, oh, I'll have you both. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, Thank you so sweet. much. Thank boy. you. Yeah, that was you. innocent. That was a good one. Thank you. Another cool thing that happened while Chelsea and I were here in Dallas is we were invited to the Fangoria headquarters downtown. It was really cool to see where they record their podcast and their vault where they have archives of tons of promotional material from like every horror movie ever. I got to see old promo materials from Ice Cream Man, one of my favorites.
I will say that this year the lines were way longer than last year. Seems like it's gotten busier and more popular than ever. For instance, we really wanted to meet Robert England. He's here, but we just couldn't wait in the line. It was like a six hour wait. We did get to meet Tim Curry though. I wasn't able to record a video when we met him, but we did get an awesome picture with him. And that was such a highlight for Chelsea and I. That guy is a legend, very important to both of us. And I'm so glad we got to meet him. And even though I didn't get to talk to Robert England, we did get a photo op with him and Heather Langenkamp where we did a prom pose. I tried to have a fan meet up here on Sunday, but it actually got a little out of control. Way more people showed up than I expected. And the hotel and convention people kindly asked us to disperse just for safety reasons. Again, they were very kind about it, but since there were just so many people gathered and they didn't know how to take care of us all, we had to kind of disperse. If you were in line and you didn't get to talk to me, I'm so sorry. I tried to make sure to talk to everyone and get pictures with everyone. I'm very sorry if you came out to meet me and you didn't get a chance to. Is what? This is for me? Oh, Tyler. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, and look, uh, my buddy Tyler here just gave me an Elm Street street placard. Thank you so much. I said, from your biggest fan, Tyler, be good subs. Be good subs? Oh, Tyler, thanks so much, man. Thank you, dude. Meeting people like that is just the coolest thing. I love meeting all these fans and hearing about how maybe they got back into horror movies because of the kill count. I never get sick of hearing that. Thank you so much for just showing us all your love and appreciation. It's a great motivator for Chelsea and I to keep doing what we're doing. Huge thank you to my live stream moderators because like a dozen of them came to this convention, got to meet all of them in person, and they helped me out throughout the weekend, especially with that meetup. I can't wait to come back next year where we'll probably have a booth or a table of some sort just because it seems like, you know, as the channel grows, we're meeting a whole bunch of people who want to meet us. But in any case, we'll definitely be back because like I said, this is my favorite convention. So if you can, try to make it out to Dallas, Texas next year for Texas Frightmare Weekend. I hope to see you next year and be good people. 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 Eat good people. Oh! Be good people. And with all my heart, be good people. Be good people. No, really. Be good people. Be good people. Be groovy people. Be good people. Yeah, thanks, Tyler.